our summa cum laude program. So at this time, we're going to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. We're going to ask Mr. Ed Benich, who's an assistant principal at Vineland High School, to come forth. And actually, so he's going to do the pledge, and then following that, he's going to do our invocation. Thank you, Mrs. Morris. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. going to do a um, invocation and also uh, a little blessing. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food we're about to receive and the wonderful bounty we have before us. Father God, we ask you to search our hearts and our minds and reveal to us anything affecting our relationship with you. Thank you, Lord, for being our Redeemer. Father God, we ask you to guide every student here and continue to bless the works of their hands and their minds and everything they do and give them the desires of your hearts, their hearts, according to your will. We pray to have knowledge of your will through perfect wisdom and spiritual insight to live a life pleasing to you, honoring you, blessing the works of their hands and growing more closer to you. Father God, we ask you to bless them indeed, expand their territories, Always have your hand in their lives and keep them from harm, evil, and pain. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Next, I'd like to bring up Dr. McCann for opening remarks. Thank you, Mr. Banish. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome all of our parents, grandparents, and guardians. It's always great to see the families come around and celebrate the victories and the many things that your students have done this past school year. And as I think about this program, which I do every year, and the many programs that we have, I try to zero it down into a particular uh, way that the class is. This is a very, very unique class, the class of 2016. All of our top honor graduates. and. I, I try to think of what they brought to the school, what they brought to the table, so to speak. And I was reaching for words, reach, reaching for phrases that um, would fit the class of 2016. And it came down to a very short speech. And the speech is one word. I narrowed it down to one word. But I'll be saying more than one word, but I did narrow it down to one word. And the word is perseverance. Perseverance is the quality that allows someone to continue trying to do something even though it is difficult. That's the basic meaning, the definition of perseverance. And that is a great word for this class. This is the role model for this class. This class is a textbook group of being very much about perseverance. They preserved all of what they had to do all year. A lot of students end up with broken ankles. A lot of students end up getting injured on the field, not getting accepted to colleges they wanted to get to. Students that wanted to move up in rank it was difficult, but everyone stayed with the fight. This class is one class that kids always came back to me as we chat in the offices with their guidance counselors talking about what they wanted to accomplish. And the textbook look of this group is across the board. It's a commonality that I've noticed with all the students. And I said, this is the word, perseverance is the class of 2016. Congratulations. Now for all events such as this, as you know, you're very fortunate families to be here tonight to 
recognize and honor your children, but there's a whole lot of people that are behind that. But I want to bring up the person that's put this together tonight, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Tina Morris. Mrs. Morris. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. McCann. It definitely is with great pleasure um, that I have the opportunity to introduce the guests um, that are here. We have a lot of people present. And I was thinking as Dr. McCann was um, speaking about the class, this is my first year at Violin High School, but I did really get to know some of the students. Um, I have a couple students when I look to the right of me, these two guys, I call, there's, it's Tommy and Joshua. I would call Tommy Joshua and Joshua Tommy all year. I just got it right at the prom on last Thursday. Tommy says to me, because this is Tommy at the table, it took you all year to get it right. Then we have Dominic, who's next to him. I would call Dominic and another student, Lee. I called them, I called Dominic Lee, I called Lee Dominic all year. And, but Dominic and Lee, I kind of got you, I got you two straight a little sooner than I did Tommy and Joshua. But just even that kind of stuff, I had fun with this class, and, and needless to say, Jeff Martin, the class president. He and I, we talk so much. Jeff is, Jeff is definitely a great student, and all you guys are great. I'm just calling out um, some of the students, and especially these guys, because we, we just laughed, and I had a good time with them all year. So I, I, I really did have a good uh, first experience with this class. So as you were talking about perseverance for the class, I was just thinking about some of the students. And I was actually sharing with a parent early on. Um, my son had come with me to Mr. Violin, and he remembered her daughter dancing, who is Jacqueline Kell. And I told Jacqueline the story how my son was skating, and we were at the skate ring, and he said, Mom, that's the song that one of the twins even remembered that dance to. So it really is, it's been a good year with me and the students. There was some, uh, you guys left some lasting impressions on me and my family, apparently. So with saying all that, I'd like to introduce um, some of the people at our, our guest table. And we have the board president, Mr. Scott English. We have another uh, board member, Ms. Cotaspati. We have Mr. Soprano. We have Central Administration. We have Dr. Gruccio. She's been with us through all these programs, and we've had many. Thank you, Dr. Gruccio. We have Mr. Wayne Weaver with us tonight. We actually have Rick. Rick is in the back. He's still working. He's always working. Rick, can you stand for us, Rick and his wife? Thank you. Thank you. We have the communication department, and they are, they persevere, and they are faithful. Thank you, guys. We have building administration. We have Dr. McCann, our building principal. We have Mr. Ed Benish, assistant principal. We have Ms. Jackie Alvarez, assistant principal. We have teachers. We have teachers at the table. They took the time out of their busy schedules to come out and to share on this occasion with their students. Thank you. We have staff in the back. We have the secretarial staff that's in the back, and they actually helped set this up. They've been great. But most importantly, on this evening, we have the parents of the students. Can we give the parents a round of applause, please? We have the grandparents of the students. We may have some grandparents in here. Can we give them a round of applause? We have aunts, uncles, and cousins in here. Can we give them a round of applause? And most of all, we have these honor students who have worked so diligently throughout, not just this year, but their four years of high school. So can we stand up and really give them a big round of applause on this evening? All righty, now that everyone has been introduced, 
Now we're going to have greetings from our board president, Mr. Scott English. Thank you, Anna. Good evening. Ms. Cottesbody asked me to be quick, so uh, actually I took a night off last night from one of the events, so I'm, I have like uh, two speeches in one because I'm playing catch up. Um, first, I would like to welcome everyone this evening. Um, I, uh, in 2014 and 15, I had the privilege not only as a board member, but also a parent to sit in those same exact seats that uh, you are sitting in. And there truly is no better feeling than being part of your child's accomplishments. It's, it's neat. I'm, tonight, I'm tying my tie and I'm saying, well, summa cum laude. I believe it's 375 to like infinity, correct? Something like that. I don't know mathematically how it is. I might have to get Ms. Bachman up here to help me out. I mean, she's, she's the valedictorian in the class. I figured maybe she uh, might have to help me figure out how they get to that infinity number. But what do you say to a bunch of students that really are the cream of the crop, the best of the best? First, I would like to thank you because as board members, we take our job seriously. And we bang our heads against the wall a lot of times hoping we're making the right decisions. And when we see students achieve at these high levels, it's, it's just a breath of fresh air to let us know that we're banging our heads for the right reason. I thank your parents for believing in the violent public school system. There's a lot of choices out there, and I'm sure you had to make some tough choices where we're going to send our kids. But I believe, as I look around this room, it's, it's packed, full house. I think it's awesome. Um, I believe you made the right choice. So thank you to the parents for sending their kids and believing in the violent public school system. I would like to thank my fellow board members um, again for attending another event. I missed mine one last night and I kind of felt bad about it, but I saw some great pictures on Facebook. But thank you to each of you for again attending this evening. And the rest of my fellow board members always want me to pass on the congratulations as well. We have central administration over there as well. They're getting burned out like we are. I mean, um, it's, it's tough. I'm actually, I'm running out of suits to be honest with you. So, you know, I, I'm glad I did take off last night. I was able to go to the cleaners. Um, I'd like to um, acknowledge, um, I guess, five students. We have Ms. Bachmar, valedictorian. Ms. Ms. Gibney and Ms. Mangani are co salutatorians I, I started thinking when you're a co salutatorian I'm wondering, do you guys like laying better night and think, wow, if I only would have got one more quiz question right, maybe I wouldn't have been a co? You sit back and you think about it. So I, I applaud both of you. Excellent. Um, finally, we've got, a, we've got a man in the group. We have uh, Mr. Hughes. We have Ms. Felipe Field. And we're closing with Ms. Susarchi. Between these five students, we're looking at Bucknell, Michigan State, University of Penn, and then Rutgers is gaining um, three outstanding students. To me, that is true front page news. I know a lot of us read the newspapers and we see a lot of the negatives, but this is the stuff that makes it, once again, us as board members proud of the type of students we are putting out there. Um, I guess I'm getting over my time limit here. I, I just wanted to make a quick acknowledgement. I believe we have an 18 year old birthday to, tonight. Oh, we have Tyler Rizzola. I want to wish him happy birthday and congratulations as well. 18 years old, you're legal now. I, I won't be singing, I gave that up a long time ago. And in closing, uh, really, I just wanna let um, each one of you students know to, to enjoy these next couple weeks, parents as well, maybe hug that child a little bit more, and students as well, because they're really off to the next great chapter of their lives. I didn't realize it, and I wish I would've squeezed mine a little bit more, because, boy, they're gone, and, in, and just that fast they're grown-ups. The years have passed and everything. I just, when I look around so many familiar faces as I was making my greetings tonight, I just can't help but say, hey, this is what it's really all about. Being a parent, being a grandparent, a guardian, aunt, uncle, etc. This is really, well, again, one of my proudest moments as a board member to come to these type of events and honor each and every one of you. So thank you, enjoy the night, you deserve it. That's all I got.
Thank you, Mr. Um, English. We actually have a couple more uh, people that have come in. We have Mr. Frangipani. He's our assistant superintendent. And we have Ms. Rios, who's also a board member. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. And this, there's another segue for me. You gave me another segue, Mr. Um, English, as Dr. McCann did when he was talking about the students and their perseverance. I had a, a breakfast. Dr. McCann actually held a breakfast. We had a breakfast for um, some of the honor, the top students. And I had a conversation with them, and I don't know if they remember. It was the top five um, students, which was six, because we have a tie. And I asked them, basically, um, what motivates them. And I said, nobody has to answer, or any, anybody can just answer. And actually, all of them answered the question. And when I thought about what each one said individually, if I had to sum it up, they actually enjoy learning. So they all are motivated to get the grades that they get and to achieve the way that they have um, academically because they enjoy learning. And that was just really good for me to hear because as an educator, I just always think learning should be fun. So um, they're a great, great group. I actually had the opportunity um, to be in their presence a couple times and they were just a great group. I actually went home and told my husband, I, said, I was with the top five students and, and they just enjoy learning because you want to pick their brains to see. I have a 10 year old. I want to pick their brains to see. Now what can I do to my son or what can I tell my son so he can actually achieve like they have and it's just enjoying learning and that goes to the teachers as well. Like our teachers make learning enjoyable for our students. So with saying all that, now we're going to have uh, Dr. Ruccio come forward. Can we give her a hand? Good evening, everyone, and thank you for the opportunity to be here. On behalf of Central Office, there may be a lot of things that happen this time of year, but we truly do love attending them because this is what makes us proud. Tonight, we have the best of the best sitting in front of us, and this is what makes it all worthwhile and why we became educators. And I truly believe, I'm a Vineland High School graduate, my children are Vineland High School graduates, and I believe that Vineland offers one of the best educations around. The trick is, do you want to take advantage of that or not? It's there for the taking if you want to take it. So the people in this room obviously have embraced it and have taken advantage of the opportunities that are there for you and you have run with it and made the very, very best. And I can wish you nothing but the best in the future. I know wherever you go after graduation, you're going to make Vinem proud and you make all of us proud. So God bless each of you. I want to also um, thank our parents because without your love and support and your grandparents and extended families, you would not be where you are today. So remember to say thank you to them. I also want to thank our teachers because from preschool all the way through high school, it were many teachers that impacted your life along the way. So remember that because they played a really important role and they do care about you. So on behalf of all of us at Central Administration, I wish you wonderful time the next week or so until you graduate. I encourage you to be safe and make good choices because we don't want anything to happen to any of you. We want you to go off to wherever it is you are going after graduation, be it college, the workforce, the military, whatever, and be safe, be healthy, and may God bless each and every one of you. Have a good evening. Thank you, Dr. Mauricio. So at this time, we're going to take um, a break and we're going to have our dinner. Dinner will be served. So enjoy that time together with your family and then we'll continue with our program after dinner. Thank you. So we're going to begin. So I'm going to ask Mrs. Alvarez to come forth. Can we give her a hand clap, please? Mrs. Alvarez does so well reading every name. So I, I don't know what I would do without her because I couldn't do what she does. We all have our own gifts and that's definitely a gift of hers. So as Mrs. Alvarez reads your name, you're gonna come forward and your picture will actually show on the screen to your left or your right. Or it, might, it may be behind some people. All right, here's Mrs. Alvarez. Good evening, thank you Ms. Morris. 
I'm so honored to be introducing our summa cum laude students this evening. These students have achieved a 3.75 or above grade point average. Parents, you can come up and take a picture of your child as they receive their recognition. At the end, I will also be introducing our top 10 students this year. Our first student, Abigail Abate. Students, you'll be coming up for your stoles and your certificates uh, to Mr. Benish and Mr. Bernhardt. Nia Ashraf. <laughs> Erica Bennett. Mackenzie Bond. <laughs> Jessica Burgos. Dennis Campanella. <laughs> Dominic Ciancolini. Naya Cosme. Kayla Cruzado. Yvette Cruz Lopez. Victoria Dar. Jeremy Dupree Sanchez.
Bradley Duran. Angelica Filippi Field. Joshua Flores Yeoman. Gerardo Franco Portillo. Sean Freeman. Kayla Garcia. Gabrielle Giacomelli. Alfonso Gonzalez. Tanine Gonzalez. Robert Green. <laughs> Terrence Green Miranda. Jasmine Gutierrez. Dustin Irwin.
Umbria Kent. Eric Alejandro León García. Garrett Loper. Justine Lopez. <laughs> Nayarit Lopez. Stephanie Lopez. <laughs> Vanessa Lopez. <laughs> Edwin Maestre. Juliana Magazoo. <laughs> Michael McGuire. Justin Melman. <laughs> Jeffrey Martin. Alexander Matos. Geralis Melendez. <laughs> Jose Mercado.
Andrew Merminian. Olivia Missouri. Caitlin O'Brien. Eduardo Rodriguez. Santiago Ortiz. Caitlin 
Schreiber. Brittany Solar. Kayla Spear. Tahira Thompson. Maurice Thrower. Gregory Wallace. We have one more student, Anthony Matos. Number 10, Emma King. Number eight, Max Nesdor. <laughs> Number seven, Devin Maddie. Number six, Catherine Susarche. Number five, Sarah Filippi Field. Number four, Gregory Hughes.
co-salutatorians this year. The first is Sarah Gibney. <laughs> And Sejo Mengani. And our 2016 valedictorian, Hannah Bachma. Congratulations to all our summa cum laude students, Ms. Morris. All right, let's give them all another round of applause. You guys did great. Great job. Well, now we're at the end of our program. I would like to thank each and every person that took time out of their busy schedules because I know that we're all busy to come out and celebrate our students and recognize them for their great achievements. So at this time, enjoy your dessert, and this is the end of our program, and drive home safely. Thank you.